Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Sonic Origins Plus. Today, we're checking out the Game Gear additions to this version of the game. Of course, um, last episode we checked out the addition of Amy in all the mainline Sonic games here. We just sort of tried an, a zone of each with her, but this time we'll be checking out the Game Gear editions. If you don't know, the Sega Game Gear was a portable console that the Se that Sega made, I think back in the 90s. It was sort of supposed to be like a competitor to the Game Boy and it had a lot of Sonic games, and quite a few of them are right here. So we have some releases, re-releases of Sega Genesis games, as well as some totally original games that were just for the Game Gear. And we'll be playing a little bit of each one in today's video. Maybe we can do full playthroughs of these at some point if you guys wanna see them. Um, it really just depends on how well these you know, videos do how well this one does, how much, how well the last episode does. If you guys really want to see it, we definitely can. But for right now, let's just take a little taste of each one. So Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic's first foray onto the portable Game Gear. The Game Gear version is a port of the Genesis game. Let's give it a try. And the screen was real tidy. Sonic is really cute there. The sound is uh, maybe not the best, but. Sonic the Hedgehog, press the start button. So it's Sonic like we've already, oh, I guess the other start button. I'm a little confused, I pressed the start button. Okay, here we go. We're going to Green Hill Zone. It's cool that it has a little overworld. The original Sonic the Hedgehog didn't have that. And here we are. So it really is like a bite-sized version of Sonic in the cutest way possible. So even though this might be lacking in terms of, I guess, like the fidelity of the original Sonic the Hedgehog, I feel like it makes itself back in just the amount of charm it has. And, and just, you know, back then, it was hard to get games on the go. Not many port consoles were portable. We had this in the Game Boy. So just being able to have Sonic the Hedgehog on the go like this was such a treat. Oh boy. Let's go ahead and try to break this open. Get some extra speed. The sound is a little intense, but beyond that, this is really cool. And of course, this, the screen was really small in the Game Gear. So we're really experiencing that here. What does this do? Wait, will this make my jump worse? I think it will. I don't know. I think it did. Oh no, lost all of our rings there. Now I gotta be really careful. Come on, Sonic. Get these rings, make that jump. The controls and the physics are definitely a little bit different than the original Sonic. But it's fun so far, I really like this. Whoa, it's so cute with the sound effects revving up. Oh no, ah, oh, but I got knocked out. That's not good, because I don't think we got a checkpoint. Oh no, oh, is that what this is? I guess maybe that little box is a checkpoint. I'm going to assume so for now and just hit those whenever I have the opportunity. Okay, getting through all that then. And then we'll try to get through this again, land on the platform or not. Okay, I need to be careful. We don't have any rings left, get as many as I can. Because with this, the rings don't go flying everywhere. So getting them back isn't really an option. At least down in that same way. But I think we're about to reach the end of this zone. Okay, there we go. That was cool. Oh, we get an Eggman face. It's not what we want. Okay, round two coming in. And with these, you know, we don't have like the anniversary or classic modes. It's just the original version. So we don't have a bunch of extra lives or infinite lives or anything like that. We're gonna continue to Green Hill a little bit more here. I really like this so far. That's a very adorable game. I'm sure it's gonna get quite difficult later on. And if we take a pause, I guess we could, at the least, it give us like save states. And we can also see the controls here too. Okay, just a little bit curious to see what it offers. Uh, oh, whoa, that's cool. Get sent down to this cave. Probably could've used those rings, hi. There we go, we're rolling to you like that. I hope to find some more rings soon then because it's looking a little dangerous around here. Come on, boom, get rid of that crab. Go through this water. Oh no, gotta be careful not to hit the spikes. Oh, that was scary. I don't have any rings right now, so just a lot of dangers abound, but there are some rings waiting for me right up here. So let's see if this is a checkpoint. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Get up here, and spring our way up this way. Ooh, okay. Whoa, hey, watch it. I don't think I'm supposed to go up there. Instead, I guess just right over this way. But these levels, it, it's weird because it says it's a port of Sonic 2, or Sonic the Hedgehog. Why did I say Sonic 2? I don't know. <laughs> but it really isn't. These are totally original levels as far as I can tell. I mean, in spirit, it's, oh my gosh, I pressed jump there, that was weird. Uh, in spirit, it's very similar. <laughs> I'm going in circles right now. 
but it's definitely its own game. And that's what's so neat about these. Oh my gosh, I cannot get up there. Let's take it slow, jump right there. Okay, that's good enough for me. I can make that jump for sure. Ooh, tough one. And oh, we're building up some more speed. I made it over the spikes. I wanted that, the more rings there, but I guess that's it for this one. Is there going to be three acts of this? I guess just like the original Sonic. Still not enough to see anything but Eggman's evil face there. I guess I need probably 50 rings. Sonic is past act two. So let's give this next one a go. We're still here in Green Hill, but oh, look who it is. Eggman zooming around with his little, what is this supposed to be, an airship? Something like that. All right, let's deal with you. So will it just be straight into a boss fight or will this be its own act? I think it's just, maybe just the boss fight? I don't know, it's still going. I don't have any rings at the moment, so I'm a bit worried. Oh yeah, we just don't get any rings for this fight. I had rings at the end of the last act, so it definitely is just, okay, I can start hurting you right away. Ooh, okay, he's not really throwing out any attacks. Come on, come on, keep hitting him. There we go, we got you. <laughs> not posing much of a threat this time. Interesting. All right, see ya. And boom, we get the free old bunch of little critters here. There we go, that was the first zone in Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Game Gear. Pretty cool little game, for sure. But how did the sequel fare? That's what we're gonna find out right now, because this was, of course, I think gonna bring us to Marble Zone. I guess we'll see in just a moment. It brings us to the bridge. What is the bridge? Maybe we'll find out some other time. Let's go to the game catalog and see what else is going on. So we have Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Back in action, this Game Gear title is Sonic's second game and contains some differences compared to the Genesis version. It's interesting that it doesn't say that for the Sonic the Hedgehog version, even though this also obviously has differences. Let's try this one out and see what's going on. That is overwhelming. <laughs> I, I I think they probably should have toned that one down a little bit. Uh, whoa, there's Tails running around. And here's Sonic. Whoa, this has like its own whole opening cutscene. No, they're stealing Tails. Give us our buddy back. Come on, Sonic, you can do it. Am I supposed to do something? Uh, I don't think so. Bye, Tails. That's new. Eggman didn't steal Tails in Sonic 2 for the Genesis. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Awesome. Um, I always do that, I'm pressing the start button, but I guess it's not the right start button. <laughs> Underground Zone, Act 1. This is so different. Whoa, this is so different. There was no Underground Zone. We saw it in, in, in Zone 1. Not like this, this is so bizarre, I love it. Okay, zooming through all this pretty fast, but then I get thwarted by some spikes. I don't think I have Spin Dash even now. Whoa, this is weird. <laughs> Just going through the, the, the blocks like that. The music's pretty good. I guess I'm going this way. And past all those, we're getting a ton of rings so far. It doesn't seem like I have Spin Dash or anything. So, let's keep moving with what we have. Ooh, come on, I tried to jump over it. Can I go back? There were some rings over here. Just a few of them. Oh, so close to 50 rings, now I'm in trouble. Come on, big jump over here. I gotta land in the minecart. Here we go. No, oh, no, wait. <laughs> Wasn't much of a minecart ride, it lasted for a second. And now we're back at the beginning, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a little silly, but we'll get back out there. Okay, I think we caught up to where we were before. Let's just ride this minecart around. Oh, I see. Then I land here jump again. The problem is, you know, there's just not too much time to react to things because there's so little screen space. This is definitely the kind of game, obviously if we were to play it like as a full playthrough, I'd want to take it a lot slower because these jumps really seem to matter. Ah, and I still get Eggman because I still didn't have 50 rings. That's okay. But I'd want to play it a lot slower because you need to be really sure of the jumps you're taking. And on top of that, uh, you just don't have many lives to work with, so. Gotta be very careful, that kind of thing. But we'll try Underground Zone Act 2 coming up. Guessing more of the same in that way. Get a bunch more rings, watch out for you, mister. And then hold on, I want these rings. I wanna try to get the 50. 
Now anything else, maybe I'll get a, an extra life if I get to 50? That'd be cool. I don't know if it quite works that way. You definitely get a lot more rings out of things in, in, in this one. Oh, we're rolling around, we head into the secret room. We do not get an extra life for 50 ranks. Maybe 100, maybe it just doesn't work that way at all. We'll have to try. And oh, this will definitely get us an extra life. Cool. Heading back down, picking up some pretty major speed as we go through this. That was good. Oh, be careful. Jump there. You can just barely see below you most times, so it just gets really scary. Go oh, away, wait, wait, wait. There we go. I'm getting used to it. There we go, that did give me an extra life. But it also resets my rings back to zero. That's not very courteous. Uh, resetting it back to one, sure. Why didn't that hurt them? That was weird. Uh, but I got my ring back, and I'm on the minecart. Gotta be ready to jump at a moment's notice! Okay. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. But here we are, through this one. That was a cool level, I enjoyed it. So. Sonic has passed act two, and maybe that means we move on to the boss fight. Underground zone, act three. Which is interesting, because Sonic 2 I think only had two acts. Oh, let's ride the minecart again. I love the minecart, it's a lot of fun. Can zoom past all this super quick. I think I gotta jump there. Feels like that was a good idea. I don't have any rings at the moment, so I'm terrified. Just something bad happening. But it might just be like, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 on the Game Gear? Oh no, uh, did he just save me? I think Eggman just saved us, we were about to fall in the lava. Wait, maybe the boss stages just don't have any rings? I'm so confused, and I'm, um, oh, okay. Uh, we'll have to do the whole thing again, or can I start there? I don't quite know. I need the whole thing over. So I think we get the idea for this one. Very cool though. Let's go back to the title screen or the game catalog. That was fun. Really cool game, but we're gonna move on to the next one. Sonic Chaos. Sonic and Tails team up for wild whirling thrills in this Game Gear title from 1993. This is the first time Tails was playable on a handheld system. Very cool. See, I guess he, <laughs> you can't play uh, Tails in Sonic 2 on the Game Gear, but you can play him here. Sonic's running. Chase Eggman yet again. What else is new? I like the style to this one. It looks cool for sure. And here's Tails. Not too far behind. So Sonic Chaos. Let's start it. Uh, it's, it always fools me. I think that the start button's gonna be the start button, but it's not the start button. So I can play as either Sonic or Tails. Let's try Tails. We've been playing as Sonic all day. I wanna play as Tails. The Turquoise Hill Zone, whoa. This is a cool game. Yeah, this is adorable too. I love little Tails in this one. And can we get Tails to do his little um flying move? I don't think so. So I guess we'll just stay with this. We have five lives this time, so it's a little bit more courteous to us. And I guess I'll just try to fly way over here. I don't know if that was a good idea, but it sort of worked out. We made it far. Ow, uh, come on, come on. Ooh, just barely made it through those spikes in time. These spikes are a little scarier. Come on, come on. Let's grab these then. Okay, got it. Oh, there's a secret over here. Oh, this is cool. And then I guess I can get invincibility. We are all over the place right now. Okay. Not so bad. 30 rings so far. So can I do... Yeah, yeah, I can do spin dash. I've been doing it already. I just sort of so used to doing it. I didn't realize that I could do it compared to the last few games where I couldn't. And there we go. That's the end of that level. I still don't think it's enough for us to get a little bonus. Oh, no, it is. Whoa, and we get a kilometer per hour rating? 729. That's neat. Fun way to sort of visualize that. Do we get any extra lives? I guess so. Does that mean we get four extra? I don't know what exactly was trying to tell us there, but we're still in Turquoise Hill Zone. Yeah, we still have five lives, so. I don't know what I was trying to get out there. Tails is a lot of fun to play, though. Oh, we're moving super quick. I'm just gonna zoom through this, because now we have invincibility. I don't know where I'm going. I just run and jump, and if it gets me to where I'm supposed to be, that's great. Okay, let's get some speed boosts. Ready, boom, and then 
Go again, go again. We're still invincible for a little bit of time. Trying to make the most out of that time, but I think it's over now. Get some extra rings. And I guess we're heading over here. Oh, hey, end of the stage. <laughs> that was a fast one. Uh, are you done? Okay, we'll get a little flicky this time and a better speed or score or whatever. Okay, we'll speed through this if we can. That wasn't so bad. So this will probably be our last attempt here at Turquoise Hill Zone. Will we get a boss fight this time? We'll have to wait and see. Do I get any rings for my troubles? Or will continue this weird tradition of not giving me any rings during the boss fight stages? It's not a very fun tradition. Yeah, I'm not seeing any, so I guess we'll just have to fight this without taking any damage. Whoa, hey, look at you. Um, so do I bounce off of you? Is this what I'm supposed to do right now? It doesn't seem to be getting much done. What if I, oh, that worked, that worked, okay. Gotcha. Interesting. Let's try that one more time. There we go, we beat you, actually beat the boss this time. Very cool. Sonic Chaos has a, a nice little charm to it, for sure. Where would we go next? Now I'm very curious to find out. We gotta get all these points real fast. But then after that, Gigapolis? Gigapolis? Something like that? Neat, very cool. So back to the game catalog because we have plenty of Game Gear games still left to try. Next is what I'm really curious about, Sonic Drift. This title was originally released only in Japan and is the first in a long line of racing games for the Blue Hedgehog. Plays either Sonic, Tails, Amy, or Dr. Eggman, each with their own unique abilities and vehicles. Don't mind if I do. They don't even say it at all this time. Whoa, okay. Uh, Sonic Drift, this is cool. I like this one. So I'm guessing this is gonna maybe play like Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo or something like that. We'll see. Am I playing right now or is this a demo? Uh, it's a demo. Okay, but how do I, why is the start button also the pause button? I'm so confused if like that's working or not. Uh, <laughs> Come on, there we go, that worked. So. Um, mode, Chaos G GP, free run or option? Uh, I think we'll try free run. Run, course, driver. Uh, I guess we're playing Sonic. I'm a little confused with this one. I don't know if it shows us anywhere. Okay, we can see the controls. Hold on. No, here. So we can steer, we can drift. What a weird combo. Accelerate, brake. Okay. Start slash, start slash pause is triangle, give up on free run. Uh, activate special powers with up. Very interesting control scheme. So we have to hold circle to go, and then we can move, but we can also drift, which I definitely think we need to do on these harsher turns. But if I drift too much, we spin out. Gotcha. I don't see, uh, whoa, any of our competitors here. So I guess for free run, this is more like a time trial. Okay, I gotta turn to the right here again. So this, this tracks only a bunch of right turns. Not a bad time, 29 seconds. Can we beat it this time now? Whoa, okay. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it a little bit. Oh, and we're invincible. Go, Sonic, go. Almost, but then I spun out. Oh, that would have been such a good time, too. That was still way better. 20 seconds instead of 29. Come on. Got it. And then this is always a rough turn. Huge jump for better or for worse. I think that was for the better. And we got it. That was a great time towards the end there too. 17 seconds. Great job, Sonic. See, that's sort of like Super Mario Kart, sort of not. Uh, maybe we'll try to give it a different try with um, some other characters here. Uh, yeah, I wanna try this one again, of course. We'll try, we have Green Hill Marble, Spring Yard, and Labyrinth. I think we'll try Marble. Whoa, okay. So now I back out, right? Driver. Let's choose, I wanna choose Amy here. That looks cool. And then results. Okay, I don't need to see that too much. Let's just run with this, see if it works. It did, cool. I didn't know if it was going to, but it did. 
So we're going at it again. I didn't use any of my abilities last time. Oh, I did not mean to spin out. Sorry, Amy. Oh, we're really speeding up now. I'm ah, going off the track. Pretty crazy so far, but we can do it. We can do it. I'm just trying to like be very light with the drift, just like tapping it, and that seems to be working. Because the tapping is circle and X plus the direction you need to go. And that seems to be a better strategy. I'm almost taking these turns too tightly, so. There we go. Ooh. I really think we gotta pay attention to the top to really know where we're coming in from. That was good. And, ooh. Really building up speed now. This is fun. I can definitely see how this is, you know, an enjoyable Sonic racing game. Okay, we're almost at the end of this third lap, I think. And boom, we did it. Not the best times in the world, but overall I had a good time with it. So the last lap was still our best one. Amy looks so happy. So that was Sonic Drift, but it was so good that they went and they made a sequel called Sonic Drift 2. I think that's what we'll be trying later. Right now we got Sonic Spinball. This title was originally released only in the US and PAL regions for the Genesis in 1993, with the Game Gear port arriving in 1994. Pinball Pandemonium ensues in this unique Sonic title. See, this did not release in Japan at first. See, that was a lot less ear piercing. Okay, Sonic, let's see what we got going on here. Sonic Spinball. So triangle is start for some reason. Whoa. So I've never played Sonic Spinball on the Genesis, but I know it's an interesting game at the least. As you can see, Sonic is heading to this big scary mountain with the help from Tails. Oh my. Is this Pinball Island? I think it might be. Toxic Pools is our first stage. Whoa. So how exactly does this work? Do I play as Sonic or do I play as the, oh, I play as the Paddles too. Gotcha. That was not a good start, but cut me some slack, it was my first try. All right, <laughs> let's try it again. Uh, There we go. Ooh, it's a little, it's a little slow, but I'm pretty sure this is, you know, the fault of the original Game Gear than it is like, you know, this Origins Plus version. But yeah, that's sort of the thing is that, I did notice is that the Genesis games that we see in the original section of everything, can I control Sonic 2? It's hard to tell. It looks like I have a little bit of control over him. Like I can hold the direction and it has a little bit of like control over where Sonic goes. So it's a little bit of both using the paddles or paddles and playing a Sonic here. I'm trying to get over there desperately. It's not working out so well. But obviously the Genesis games had a lot of care. These Game Gear ones, I mean, it's nice that they're here and that we get save states and stuff, but it's not like they're full ports. Whoa, a Chaos Emerald. How do we get up there then? Uh, I don't know. Okay, wait a minute, well, that wasn't so bad, but it wasn't enough. Come on, come on. There's definitely some getting used to here. We're back over here again. I'm stuck here forever. Oh no. Come on, come on, got it. I gotta go all the way to the edge of it. Okay, that's it. Oh, beautiful, we got a couple of rings out of it too, but now we're back down here. Where do I go? Maybe up that way? No, 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 I'm back here again. I'm not gonna let that happen. Fall back down this way. It's gotta be somewhere else we can get. We're getting zapped. Go back up here, I guess? I'm a little confused on how we get to this Chaos Emerald. This definitely feels like one of those classic games where you just have to read the manual to understand what in the world you're doing. Right now, I don't have the manual, unfortunately. That's another thing I'm a little surprised by. I mean, maybe it's included somewhere else, but it doesn't seem like they included the manuals or the scans of the manuals for these Game Gear games, which I feel like would be really important to have. I don't see anything more I can do here. Maybe, maybe I can get launched around this side. Cause I'm a little lost in just how I get up to the Chaos Emerald. Huh. I'll try one more time, and if not, I think we'll have our Sonic Spinball fill here. Cause we're just going right, whoa, here we go. We're off to somewhere else, that's for sure. So that was the secret ticket. Now we're heading up here. Come on, go, go, go. Hey, who are these guys? You can get rid of them, no problem. And then Sonic, if you don't mind trying to get up there, that'd be great. 
Not quite gonna work. Let's try that again. Oh, we almost got into that little center area. It's definitely not easy, but it seems like, you know, it's a learned skill. Oh no. Oh, okay. I got launched up from that, but just not exactly everywhere I needed to be. Oh, you guys again? <laughs> I'm getting sent way down. Way down! Where are we even now? Sonic's just running around now. He's not even a pinball. Uh, Can we get him over here? There we go. There we go. We've made a full circle. Uh, And I could get up there now. It looks like it's open. Yeah, that door. Whoa, this is neat. And there's points where Sonic slows down and can you actually just control him to jump around in ways I would not expect. I do like the concept here a lot of how they do sort of combine it. You need to collect all the emeralds. Um, sure. I would, I would love to do that. Uh, I don't see any of that I can actually reach over here, but I think, oh, it's you two again, huh? I wanna get up there, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, not really. All right, let's get Sonic back up this way. I don't wanna do this part, I know. Don't worry, I'm well aware. We don't pause it. I was trying to get up there. Okay, very cool. I don't wanna get too stuck in this one, because it seems like it's gonna take a lot of time to get through a level, but Sonic Spinball, super neat. If I were to play this one, I'd probably wanna play the Genesis version first. So, uh, maybe one day. Back to the game catalog. What else do we have around here? We have Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble, the sequel to Sonic Chaos. It was originally released only on the Game Gear. Dr. Eggman is not the only one looking to claim the Chaos Emeralds, as Knuckles and Fang also enter the fray. Ooh, so F Fang is here, who I think is actually one of the characters that we see in, oh my goodness, is back. Uh, it's one of the characters we see in the brand new Sonic Superstars that's coming out. Whoa, there's all the Chaos Emeralds. Getting stolen by Knuckles. I mean, I guess they're his to steal. Sonic's chasing after him. And Tails is not too far behind. Uh oh. But Eggman has one. Not good. So this was 1994. We got Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble. This is a really neat one. I like the sound of this already. So we have Sonic the or Tails to choose from. This time we'll do Sonic. Great Turquoise Act One. Seems like it really is playing off of uh, Sonic Chaos a lot. So we have a very cool area to explore here. Whoa, the controls are a bit weird to this so far. A little bit floatier than I was expecting. I don't know, whoa, 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 we got the spring power up. I don't know how to feel about this so far. Somehow the controls feel a little worse than all the other ones, but that might just be my first impressions. Let's just keep going. Okay, going up here. It's not so bad, but it definitely feels a little different than those ones did. I'll break this open. I guess we're heading down here. Seems about right that we wanna head down this part of the waterfall and uh, charge up. Go around that loop-the-loop -loop real fast, and then we're falling down the waterfall again. There's a lot of bouncy trees around here, though. Whoa, uh, was that a good idea? I guess so. Just trying to be safe with everything. Oh no, ooh, falling all the way down here, and then all the way back up. <laughs> that was crazy. And I think that might be, yeah, this first stage done. That was a fun one. We get a little thumbs up from Sonic, and we're good to move to act two of, uh, Turquoise whatever zone. Right, lots of extra points too. All right, Great Turquoise Act Two. I really do like these original games for the Game Gear. The ports are cool too, because you know they add a lot of their own stuff to it, but these totally, oh no, original adventures that Sonic goes on here with the Game Gear are really neat just because they're so underknown, it seems. Oh, I bounce up here, just like that maybe? That actually doesn't get much done. I'm sort of stuck in a loop. I want to jump over that one, there we go. And then fly over here. Ooh, okay, landed on a platform, that's very lucky. 
I think I carried over my rings from before, maybe? Oh, maybe I didn't, actually. Oh, no. Uh, I don't think that's what I wanted. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to bounce off these springs like this. Got it. Seems like there's a lot of different paths to these levels, too, so lots of replayability in that way. It really is just like a full-fledged Sonic game on the go. And the more I'm playing this one, the more I'm getting used to it. It definitely feels a bit floatier than the other Sonic games we've played so far today, but overall, it's a fun time. Okay, I think we did it. <laughs> we get a blank one. Do I spin it again? There we go. We get a ring. Cool. Uh, do I get the rings? I don't know. So that was act two. How much more do we have here? Guess we'll have to wait and see. So it's great turquoise act three. I wanna to get to the end of this zone at the least. I'm really curious to see if we'll run into the fang. It's probably gonna be once again another boss where I won't receive rings for some reason. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, uh, hello? <laughs> I think the game froze. Oh, oh, I pressed pause. Okay, nope, that was me, my bad. All right, we got this boss fight. Whoa, whoa, this thing is cool. I'm trying to fight it before it throws anything at me because I think the one it does, I'm a little scared of the possible results. There we go. I'm rolling through these little turtles too. Gotcha. Waiting for the big one to show back up. One more over here. Am I supposed to use these guys to bounce up? Am I using them wrong? Oh, okay. I see. I thought I was being smart there defeating them. I'm a little worried that doing this is gonna, yeah, do that. <laughs> uh oh. This is out of triple trouble. Giving me a little trouble. That's okay. That was still pretty cool. Let's go back to the game catalog, just because there's still plenty more games to check out. We have Sonic Drift 2, Sonic second for right into racing. There are now six rival racers to compete against with new vehicles and tracks. Whoa, so this is quite the upgrade from the first one. Okay. It's time for Sonic Drift 2. So this time we have Sonic, Tails, Eggman, Amy, Knuckles, uh, Fang, and Metal Sonic, that's awesome. So I guess we'll start, we'll do Chaos GP this time, because last time we just did free run. Uh, Chaos GP, purple, white, or blue, let's choose purple. And we can either be Sonic, Knuckles, Fang, Metal Sonic, Eggman, I gotta be Fang, Fang is so cool. And I guess we'll do Auto? And the computer chooses some characters too. Emerald Hill 1 is our first race here. Okay, so let's see if I remember how to play from the last one. It looks like I got it. This is so cool. So I gotta drift through this turn. That turn comes up quick. Oh no. It's okay, I'll try to catch up a little bit. Last time it was sort of just time trials for me, so I'll we'll have to really see here. If, oh, I'm able to get ahead. I was able to for a moment. Oh, I didn't want to pause. Uh, I was trying to get a power up there, but unfortunately not quick gonna work. These turns are so sharp for being the first track of the game. Oh my goodness. Metal Sonic is kicking my butt right now, and so is Tails and uh, Sonic. Oh, those are obstacles. Hard to tell. Okay, what did I get? Who knows? I'm gonna use it right now. Whoa, no! I threw it forward and all it hit was me. That's not good. Come on, come on. I'm gonna push past all of you. That wasn't so bad. We're starting to catch up a little bit. It's gonna be a big left turn. Oh man, come on. Oh, every time I get ahead, they catch up to me or I make an awful mistake. Okay, so that time I got the jump ability. Oh, come on, Tails. Was that really necessary? This is the last lap, so this is my chance to catch up. It almost plays a little bit more like pole position than it does Mario Kart. Which I think is pretty cool, personally. Metal Sonic really taking off here, yikes. Oh, I'm getting the worst luck. 
That stuff just pops up so fast, it feels like impossible to react to in some ways. Okay, got a good drift. Got a power up of some sort, it's gonna be a jump. Come on, I'm catching up to them big time and I run into the tree! Ah, oh, come on! This is my last chance, so just go for it. See if I can catch up. Maybe, 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 maybe! Oh, come on! I'll take a second place. Second place isn't bad. That was pretty cool. Round one, Emerald Hill one, winner, Metal Sonic. But I got a second. You know what, for that being our first ever race here in Sonic Drift 2, I will take it. I think that's what we'll leave it at. I think we get the idea of Sonic Drift 2 pretty quickly. It is just like Sonic Drift 1, but with more. And uh, what else do we have? I don't know how many more games we have, but right now it's taking its time showing me. Okay, I had to reload the game, but there's still quite more left here. So of course we have like these two player versions. I'm skipping these because it's just, you know, for Sonic Drift 2 you had to versus mode to compete with a friend. 2P is within battle mode and driver mode. I think it's like, it's the same thing. It's just, I guess if I had a second player here. Let's try Tails Sky Patrol. This seems cool. This title was originally released only in Japan and only for Game Gear. Tails' solo debut has him, has him flying high and low to save a remote island from Witch Cart. Who's Witch Cart? Oh, that was the nicest jingle yet. Oh no, this is Witch Cart. Come on, Tails, you can do it. And who is that? It was like a rabbit? We got a whole bunch of interesting characters here. Whoa. They seem to have like a different style than most of the Sonic enemies do. All right, let's get this a try. Tails is Sky Patrol. And we might want to see the controls to this really quickly. Uh, just move, throw ring, slash use device. Okay, it's just all, gotcha. This seems really neat. Training area, ready? I'm ready. So I guess we fly around his tails, and I can throw rings on the things like that, and that really boosts me forward. Oh, and I can carry weights around? All right, there's a lot going on here. This, once again, feels like one of those games where you really, really gotta read the manual. Whoa, 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 I'm crashing, I'm crashing. I think that's probably a checkpoint. And then maybe I can ride this? I can at least push it along. Okay. And then, get through there. Ah, oh, it didn't quite work. Yikes. <laughs> I don't wanna die in the training area. But it seems to be sort of a mixture between a flying game and a puzzle game, which is really neat. Okay, we're getting through this as much as we can. Ah, the really, I couldn't slow down. <laughs> this is a little awkward, and once again, this is where a lot of these older games really relied on your reading through the manual to get an idea of all the controls. Like, I can read some of them here, but it really just says to, you know, press X in the circle. Uh, so we'll try this again. This will be our last attempt, because we're out of lives after this. Getting a game over on the tutorial is a little shameful, but I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Nope, I, I tried to slow down and wait for it to line up so I could go through, but that just didn't really seem to do anything. So, I can't get past it. <laughs> we gotta move on to the next game. I can see how that could be really fun though, so maybe we can learn how to play that one and sort of give it another go at some point. We still have so many more left over. Tales Adventure. Tales, the second solo adventure game, has him exploring Coco Island via flight and remote robot. This handy gadget also turns into a sea fox submarine that debuted in Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble. Whoa, that's a lot. No, it's back! A really loud Sega. I like the tune for the last one. Also, oh, our Tails is house. Okay. Tails is taking a nap. And now what? Uh. He gets up. Time to go on an adventure. <laughs> what is that? Oh no, they're setting the forest on fire. Oh, this is really bad. Come on, Tails, you can do it. We gotta save the day. Doesn't look like Sonic's anywhere to be seen. The fire's still spreading. It's you, the evil duck. So I guess we have to fight them in Tails Adventure. All right. I'll continue, I think it'll be the same as a new game. Oh, I do not have one of these. Uh, how do I exit? I don't know how to exit. Uh, I'm very confused. Uh, 
<laughs> Can I go back to the title screen? There we go. I pressed all the buttons, it wouldn't let me reset. Okay, skip that now. Press start, new game. Here we go. So I guess this game has a password system. So, Poloi Forest is our first level. So we're running around his tails. This is already a lot different than the first game. We're actually platforming. We have little bombs we can throw. Whoa. And we got a ring there. Here, throw a bomb at you. Oh, and we can fly around too. We have a little energy meter. This I'm liking a lot more. Here, throw that bomb there. Make sure I don't get beat up by that guy. This is so neat. Gotcha. I gotta go through this cave a little bit. Do I have to bust it open with my bomb? Yes, I do. This has a lot of charm to it. I don't know if I can really get past this rock too much beyond just pushing it. Come on, Tails, you got it. He looks so determined. Getting up here. The meter gets covered up by the actual terrain, which is weird. Oh, here's another one. Come on, can I get you? A little bit more. There it is. And then just right up here, I see another enemy. I gotta be careful now, though, because they're firing back. Face Tails over here. Come on, one more time. There it is! That was nice. I get a little bit more rings for that. Can I spin dash in this? I don't think I can. Yeah, that just pauses the game. Oh, you got me, I got you! So I can get back at the 10 rings there. So I guess it's sort of like a health system. It works a little bit differently in this game. I can appreciate it. Uh, where am I going? Whoa, way down here, and then way back up! <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let's just go over here and then try to throw the bomb. Ouch, that hurt. I'm trying to get rid of you. There it is. Bunch of flames over this way. But I think I just need to use Tails flying to maybe get up here. Oh, we just barely hold on to the edge. That was neat. Okay, wait a second, and then jump up this way. And I think we made it through. Huh. There's still more to get through, though. Beat you up. I took some damage there, too, unfortunately. Oh no, oh, the platforms fall. Good to know, I guess. Get some extra rings out of that. I do appreciate the health system not being as brutal as some of the other Sonic games, though. Oh man, I thought I was a goner there. So when I'm flying around like that, I can drop bombs below, too. Let's go this way. Actually, don't. Where am I supposed to go instead, then? Not any hidden springs over here. Okay. Gotcha. And now we're back up here. So I just need to be really careful with our jump, but there's a a draft pushing me out of the way. Um, that's not good. No, Tails! I'm so sorry. Game over. So it looks like there's no lives though. You just gotta keep your health for as long as you can to get through. That's fine. That was still pretty cool. Uh, I think we'll leave it like that. Go back to the game catalog. That was a really fun one. That might be one of my more favorite ones so far. Sonic Labyrinth. Stuck wearing speed down boots, Sonic can only spin dash to traverse Dr. Eggman's Labyrinth. The password shown on the time attack results screen was originally for a contest held in Japan and is no longer usable. Huh, interesting. So this one's not the traditional Sonic adventure. Sonic's Labyrinth has Sonic moving a lot slower. And as, as far as I know, this is yet another, like one of those classic games. From what I've heard about this one, you really need to know how to play it going into it. Um, I just wanna play a normal game for now. Labyrinth of the Sky, Zone 1-1. One, Good luck, I'm gonna need it. Because Sonic moves really slow, but that's sort of the whole idea of the game. But if you start spin dashing around, you can go bounce off of stuff, which is pretty neat. You can get some points, I guess, for bouncing off of those. They have a number 100 on them, so I can only guess so. If I walk up here, oh no, uh, hold on. I don't know where exactly I'm going. Whoa, that bounces me over here. That's cool. There's a lot going on. I got stuck on something. Uh oh, oh, I got stuck on whatever you threw out. There we go, we well, got you there. Now, let's stop for a second. Oh, I thought that there was collectibles down there. Those are just spikes. Don't wanna try to collect those. Oh, there's the goal. So couldn't I just, oh, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Okay, so if I just purposely stop, angle myself up, oh, I'm almost there. Don't make this more complicated than it has to be. We'll just walk through and boom. Wait, this is not working. 
Uh, do I need to defeat more opponents? I need the keys. Uh, that got me a bunch more time now. Got you, I understand now. So we're looking for three keys to get through this level. I think one will very likely out be, oh, you made me draw my key. That's not very courteous. Come on, come on. Very hard to control. Wait, wait, wait. But it's not a bad control. It's just that I gotta get used to it kind of control. Yep, there it is. Drop the one key, but I pick up another and that'll give me another little time boost. Still can't get to the goal, of course. Wasn't really expecting it. What is that? That's gotta be a power up or something. If I could just get rid of the enemy, are you serious? Wow. Uh, and as soon as I, <laughs> that's a little ridiculous. I can't get the chance to attack them. There you go. Walking over here. Whoa. That gave me a bunch of extra time back. Really needed that. No, my key! I worked so hard for that. All right. <laughs> Going back over here. Let's grab this key back. Boom, gotcha, and my key. Where is the spot where I bounced over here to begin with? I think it's right over this way, maybe? It's not. I'm a little lost in where our third key is. Oh, maybe over here? I'm so confused on where we are and where we're trying to go. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just do a slow walk over. Sometimes slow and steady really does win the race. Not over here. I'm actually feeling, oh, there we go, this enemy had it. I definitely feel like I'm having more success just Hooray! And now we're at the goal. Maybe there's like more than one goal post? That's odd. I was definitely feeling more success using the controller's analog stick than I was just in normal. Is that one one clear? Very cool game. But I think with that being said, we got through this first zone, this first stage. We're heading to the next one now. I'm guessing that most of these are gonna look the same in that way, but let's go back to game catalog. Yep, just like this because we still have a few more games left to check out. Two more games, we got Sonic Blast. Players choose between Sonic or Knuckles in this title that brought pre-rendered graphics to the Game Gear. Wow. That was one of the loudest ones yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we got the Chaos Emeralds here. Breaking into five of them this time. Sonic Blast. Really cool pre-rendered graphics, I like it. So I guess we get to choose either Sonic the Knuck or Sonic the Hedgehog or Knuckles the Echidna. I'm gonna choose Knuckles just because we haven't played this too much of his Knuckle today. Uh, Green Hill Zone, Act One. Whoa. Okay, this one is very interesting. You can hop on the trees. The characters take up so much of the screen. I feel like for a Sonic game, this is a little much, but we're moving fast, but we're moving slow at the same time. So yeah, Knuckles can obviously glide around as Knuckles does. This one's a little bit to get used to compared to the other Game Gear games, but maybe I can yeah, get some good height like that, try to dive around a little bit. Oh, is that probably a checkpoint? We're heading down here. Run, Knuckles, run. It is cool to tackle another platformer. Oh, this is a bonus stage. Get 50 rings. Is this like Sonic 3's bonus? No, it's not. Uh, Guess I'm going this way. It's just sort of like a 3D running situation. Do I have to jump over that? I'm going to guess so. We need to get, what was it, 20, 30 rings, something like that, so. Oh, my jumping is not quite on time. <laughs> that's okay, we're up to 20 rings now. I'll jump over this thing just in case. Maybe that's a speed boost. Okay. Could have been better, could have been worse. I need one more ring. There it is, right, I think? Wasn't it 30 rings? Who knows? I can just keep going for now. Uh, it's still going. Uh, does this ever end? I'm a little confused. Now we're up to 50 rings. It's gotta end at some point, right? I can't just like go here forever. I have no clue. Why does this go on for so long? Okay, there it is. We got quite a lot of rings, and we also get an extra life. I'll take that one. Okay, we're just gonna keep going through this level then. Break down, isn't this where we just were? Uh oh, it might have been. 
<laughs> Are we gonna have to do the bonus stage again? If we go down this way? Here, go through this. Oh yeah, this was where the bonus stage was, so I just had to backtrack and maybe get up there. Oh, the controls are very hard to get used to. Under the water. So now we're out of the water. On Knuckles Run. I don't know, I, run, I jumped at the worst time. There we go, that should be enough. And I think with that, we get to the end of the stage. Very neat game, you got through act one. Now we're at Green Hill Zone, act two. I like all the visual flair to this. All right, we'll get as far as we can with this one, but I think this is probably be as far as we go with this one. Oh, we got a little pipe we can get through. I wonder if the story is any different when you play as Knuckles, like it would be in Sonic and Knuckles or Sonic 3. Probably not, but you never know. Okay, get a little checkpoint just like that. We're rolling through this pretty fast. Winning most of the enemies. Just to be honest, sometimes this is what I like to do with these kind of games. Okay, guess we're going into the pipe and into the water because of it. Gonna keep rolling through. <laughs> Fine with me. Are we just, yeah, okay. I don't know, whoa, yeah, that's right, Knuckles can climb the wall. That makes it much easier. Roddy can do that. Even though that's, you know, the whole point of the character. There we go, we got through act two, that was great. I guess we'll, you know what, we'll see the boss here in act three. Now I'm just curious. We have three lives. Let's see if we can't defeat it. Got some extra. Rings right here, so at least we're getting rings for this potential fight. I feel good about that. Here we go. So it's Eggman. Whoa, the boomerang shot. Uh-oh. Oh, so I can get two shots in on you there. Ah, oh, that hurt me though. I need to get those rings back. I might not get the chance, no! All right, we tried one shot there. I think we'll leave Eggman to be defeated some other day. We have one last Game Gear game left to try here. It is Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. It's a classic. The, this title was originally released on only in the US and PAL regions for the Genesis. Sonic Joins has been the hero of Beanville to thwart Dr. Robotnik's evil machinations. So this one's a little bit different because it's a puzzle game. And it's actually one that's pretty popular just because it's sort of like Puyo Puyo. Uh, which is like another really, really popular puzzle game. Dr. Bonnick's Mean Bean Machine. But like they said, this originally launched in the Genesis. That's probably the more popular version. But to get a nice little puzzle game like this on the Game Gear must have been pretty cool just to be able to play this every once in a while, you know? I feel like these kind of games last a little bit longer in that way because it's just you can always beat your old score and stuff. So let's try out Dr. Robotics Mean Bean Machine. I guess we'll just try Scenario mode, new game. Stage one. Oh, so this is sort of like the story mode. Stage one is arms. So we just sort of fight against other people as we try to make these matches. So basically how this works, as you can see, is that we're trying to make these little green blobs or pink blobs or whatever color they are match up. So just like that. And then what gets crazy, it's sort of like Dr. Mario too, is you can make some pretty impressive matchups where like things fall into place and you could just sort of line a bunch of stuff up. So maybe we could do something like this. It needs to be four for it to be a full combo. So I guess I want to, oh no, be like that. Get rid of that one. And then I'll get this here. Uh oh, oh they're dropping the garbage blocks on me though. How do I want to do this? Maybe just like this for now. I'll get the green down. That's not where I wanted it, whoops. Uh, do this then, here we go. See, this will break and then this will fall so that that can combo later. And the pink one down here, I'm not really playing super well because I'm not really good at these kind of games, but I do enjoy it from time to time. Okay, so we can match this up right there, excellent. And then we'll slot this one in just like this. We're sort of starting to catch up. The problem is like, can I send blocks to them? I don't think so, we just need to make matches faster. Okay, another pink one right here. And now things are looking pretty good. I think if we were to, yeah, do this, and then, yeah, get another yellow, we can actually get a match of five that time. That's really nice. 
So I guess we just sort of keep things cleared out here and hope that they can't keep up with us. Uh, the more time goes on, the faster we can get with our connections, and maybe that'll just make it more difficult for them. It seems like it is. Okay, get this over here. Got it. And then right over this way. What more can I do here? Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I guess we'll do this. Oh, here we go, here we go. Match this here, boom, get rid of those two. We'll match the yellow with the yellow, green with the green, pink with the pink, all the, those kind of ideas. And their area is getting a lot more cluttered than ours. It just takes a while to get through around, I guess. Uh-oh, whoa, how did you send all those out? I guess they just got a crazy combo. Uh-oh, now we're in a lot more trouble. I might not win this one. I'll get this here. We'll drop this there. This is where maybe I can make something happen. Hard to say. I'll try this. Oh, so it gets rid of all the garbage blocks. Too. We get the combo, amazing. Much more of what I wanted. I think I'll get this like this. I don't know if it's actually a good idea. It isn't, okay. Let's get the double green here. Oh, here we go. Look at this, boom, boom. Not bad. We're back in the running. I guess I could do something like this. Oh, look at all the garbage over there they have to deal with. I don't know if that was the best combo I could have made. But I can at least, oh no wait, do something like that. Okay, actually this isn't so bad. We can get two for one right there. I think I'll just keep this like this. Do that same thing here. And then maybe this. It's almost enough. Got it. I mean, it feels like we're getting closer to winning, but we aren't. I'll give it a few more minutes. Uh, we'll see how much farther we get. So I don't wanna be stuck here forever trying to fight this guy. I would like to beat him, but it's taking a while. This episode's already been pretty long. Got it. And ooh, they are getting closer. Come on, I can beat you. But you can see how, while this game's a lot different, it has its own success just for being a pretty addicting puzzle game. Oh no, I messed it up. I wasn't even looking. I was looking at their area over there. So we got some there. Get that here. Oh no. They just love to make it more difficult for me. Every time I think we're getting closer, we get knocked back farther. Okay. Start to make some crazy matches here or we're just gonna be done for. So get this there. I think the yellow one there. Seems like a good idea. And then, ooh. Could have been better, could have been worse. Actually, yeah, that was a decent combo. I'll take it. I wanna get this here for sure. There we go, just to get that whole connection gone. Uh, this green one there. The red one's getting a lot closer now. We can get this here. And then match the pink ones up a little bit. Oh no. That sort of happened at the worst possible time. I don't think that was a good combo in retrospect, but what I can do here is at least match this up here, get rid of all of those. Oh my goodness, every time I think I'm getting closer, this guy knocks me back. He's winning now, by the way. Oh no. Um, I don't know what to do about that besides just continually play. There's obviously some kind of strategy I'm missing, but I don't care to learn it right now. <laughs> we'll do this like that. And this right here. We'll make a couple more moves to see if we can't make a comeback as the speed picks up a little bit. Oh, this is stressful. This is super stressful. I think we'll do this. And then I'll get a pink one there. More greens right here. Got it. Oh, here we go. Decent green combo right there. Some reds matching up. And I think I want to do something like that. Ooh, that was a really good combo. You were in so much trouble over there, mister. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was so good. Okay, I can see why people really like this game. Let's get this maybe matched up like that. They're in so much trouble now. You would think we'd be able to win. But who knows? It's really about just sort of building up a whole situation for it to fall down on them. I just don't know if that's quite gonna happen here. I'm just gonna keep going. 
Okay, we got more of this. And then another one. And then another one. Can I get some different blocks? Here we go. I want the yellow to be gone. Get rid of that yellow. I guess I'll deal with the pink here. And I got red now. It's all moving so fast, but it's moving just as fast for them. So, here, get this here. Boom, got it. I get the double green right there, getting rid of that whole chunk. The pink goes over this way. We're about to win this one. If we can just hold on a little bit longer. At this point, I've gone through so much. I gotta stick it through to the end. And there we go, we won! All right, we beat the first out of it here in uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Wow, interesting experience, right? We got a password there. And we're gonna move on to the next character, frankly. But we're not doing that today. Instead, we're gonna head back to the title screen. Uh, not this title screen. Uh, got it mixed up with the other one. This one. So that was all 12 Game Gear games added in Sonic Origins Plus. If enough of you wanna see it, maybe we can consider full playthroughs on these, but it really just depends. There's a lot of games coming out right now. I'm busy with a lot of stuff, especially preparing for Sonic Superstars coming out later this year. So I might not have the time to do that, we can always wait and see. And with it also, you know, the little surprise thing here, we did play one game gear title, so we get a little bit more progress. If you guys wanna see more Sonic Origins content, there's definitely more things to check out in that way, but it's all up to you and what you guys wanna see, how much support there is on these videos. So I guess we'll have to wait and find out. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Sonic Origins Plus. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.